Not much has made me more happy this year than the announcement that we got that Banjo-Kazooie will be making their return on a Nintendo console with Smash Ultimate. Yep, it was a pretty slow year for the old x -Pref. But that also makes the announcement even more great. If you're a Banjo-Kazooie fan, you will understand why. But if you're not, then let me break it down for you. There were only two main Banjo-Kazooie platformer games releasing in 1998 and 2000 for the Nintendo 64. After that we got a new Banjo game on Xbox 360 called Nuts and Bolts in 2008, which opinions were divided over to say the least, but one thing was for sure, it wasn't a platformer. It was more of a build your own car kind of game, which people weren't really waiting on. And then, nothing. Just absolutely nothing. So now, after 11 years to see them finally back and even on a Nintendo console is just the best thing in the world for us fans. But that leaves one question on everyone's mind. Why now? Why would Microsoft lend their IP to Nintendo to make a Smash character? Is there a new game on the way? Will it come to the Nintendo Switch? Will we finally get Banjo 3? That's what I'm going to answer for you today. But to do that we have to understand some things. Banjo 3 is something that has been in development and changed over time. Some of it resulted in nuts and bolts, while other things were scrapped entirely. So let's look at all the evidence that we can find on Banjo 3, look at the comments made by developers and composers, and see if we can predict something that might release in the future. The first time we heard about a third Banjo platformer was at the end of the second Banjo-Kazooie game called Banjo-Tooie. Gruntilda even called the third game by name already by stating You'll be sorry all of you, just wait until Banjo 3. So that's the first time that we heard of a third game. And since then the game would always be referred to as Banjo 3E by fans. Which of course would also be the most logical title. The same year that Banjo 2E was released we even got our first look at Banjo 3. At Space World 2000 Nintendo showed off a demo reel with all the games that were coming to the Nintendo GameCube. Of course, this reel was used more as a demonstration on what to expect and not so much the specific titles that would be released for the GameCube. And there, a small clip of Banjo-Kazooie's third game was shown off. From the footage, we can see that the characters look mostly the same as what they looked like on the Nintendo 64, but the promise for a new Banjo game was set. Then, in 2002, Rare started looking for a buyer, as game development costs were increasing. To their surprise, Nintendo wasn't interested in buying their company. So they looked further to other interested parties. And from those that were interested, Microsoft was the lucky winner. By buying Rare for $375 million. Making Rare a first party developer for the Xbox. All the Rare original IPs were transferred to Microsoft including Banjo-Kazooie. But that also destroyed the chance for the GameCube game to ever appear. But hope was not lost. Another Banjo game was in development around 2005, which would later be dubbed as Banjo X. It was supposed to be a remake of the original Banjo Kazooie, but with a little twist. The game would start off normally. Of course, there would be better graphics, animations, and music, but the game would play out the same. But while progressing through the game, characters would become self aware, realizing that what they were doing already happened before and then would act accordingly. For instance, in Bumbo's Mountain there would emerge a giant queen ant from Ticker's Tower instead of you just going into the tower. Personally I would have loved something like this and I still hope that they will do something with this idea in the future. Developers from the game have shared some pictures, gifs and animations from Banjo X on social media in recent years. The art style would stay pretty true to the original designs, but would later be changed even more to fit the style of nuts and bolts. And that's exactly what happened. The game would be cancelled eventually and would slowly change into what Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts would be. With more square-like shapes and the design of the characters. But before we even got Nuts and Bolts, Rare teased the game at E3 2007. And although Banjo and Kazooie looked like as what they would look like in Nuts and Bolts, there were no signs of any cars or construction. So fans just assumed that this would become the new Banjo-Kazooie platformer with the tease of music notes, honeycombs and of course jiggies. But oh 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 oh, how people were wrong. Nuts and Bolts released in 2008 and was everything except a classic Banjo-Kazooie platform. You could build your own vehicles to accomplish different tasks, like uh, 
well, rolling a ball around and stuff. It was a fun game, but it wasn't a banjo game. Everything that made the classics great was thrown out of the window to make room for this thing. And after that, again, nothing. The last thing that fans got was a sour taste in their mouths because of what happened with their beloved franchise. So I hope you understand now why fans were so happy to see Banjo-Kazooie return in Smash. And even more importantly on a Nintendo console, because that's where they were at their best and where all the fun adventures were to be had. So what's next? I think if you go back you can find at least some people claiming that Microsoft will reveal a new Banjo game at E3 every single year. But it just never happened. But with them making their triumphant return you would suspect that now is the time. And could that mean that the game would also come to Nintendo Switch? Microsoft is lending out its IPs more and more to Nintendo, beginning with Cuphead, then Banjo and Smash and even Ori and the Blind Forest coming to Switch. And if we learned one thing from the reaction of fans, then it's that Banjo belongs at Nintendo. Conquer creator and Rare veteran Chris Seaver always believed that it was inevitable that a Rare character would come back to a Nintendo console. But could that also mean that there is more on the way? If we have to believe the main composer for the Banjo-Kazooie series, Grant Kirkhope, then the answer would be no. As he states, he isn't sure if there is a market for a new game. He also believes that Rare is currently too busy with their flagship Sea of Thieves, no pun intended. So he believes that an external studio should be hired to help work on a new Banjo game. And who better to do that than the guys and girls from the studio that contains the most people that were at the crib of Banjo Kazooie. Playtonic Games, creators of Ukulele. To me this would be the ultimate best timeline that you could wish for for Banjo Kazooie. Rare outsourcing their franchise to Platonic Games who will create it in collaboration with Nintendo for the Switch. That's the best thing that could happen to the bear and bird right now. But seeing that Microsoft is bringing new life to Banjo-Kazooie means to me that they want to do more in the future. And is the game already in development at the moment? No, I don't think so. For me the biggest giveaway is that Grant Kirkup doesn't know if anything is in the works. And if he doesn't know then it's not going on because I'm 100% sure that they would ask him back. It could be that I asked him for something in the meantime, but I'm unsure about that. But don't be sad, the future looks bright. This is the most Banjo-Kazooie that we got in this last decennium. And I know that each year rumors of a Banjo-Kazooie game being announced at E3 is something that pops back up, but seriously, next year could be the time. We got Battletoads this year, could Banjo be next? But most importantly of all, what do you think? Are you optimistic and do you see the bear and bird returning pretty soon? Or has Microsoft given up on the franchise, despite the insanely positive fan reactions? Let me know in the comments. Oh and also be sure to let me know what you want to see in a new Banjo-Kazooie game. Something like Banjo-X would be perfect in my opinion. But I would like to hear your ideas as well. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Xpref. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more, then please subscribe to the channel because there is a lot more awesome content on the way. Or you can check out one of my other videos on screen right now. Thanks again and I will see you next time.